All right, guys, got the bug back over to the shop. I'll show you what's in the box. So check this thing out. Look at that. that Freaking sweet. Here's the other side. So this is a uh, aluminum racing wheel, like for an actual like dirt track car or something like that. But it's got these little nubs welded in it and it's full aluminum and this thing doesn't weigh like anything like it weighs nothing it's super lightweight and uh it's just all bare brushed aluminum and uh all handmade and everything pretty wicked so uh i think it'll look pretty good this is an actual race car steering wheel it's got an inch and a quarter grip on it so it's got a real fat grip 15 inches and i think it's gonna look pretty killer to see that wheel on this thing because it's kind of kind of wild and raw and and you know i don't know kind of rat rod maybe so i'll we'll start taking it off so the first step in here is to get this horn pad off and you can see it's kind of busted that's why he's taped it back up and it doesn't work anyways um so we're going to tear this off and then we've got uh a nut and everything down in here. We're gonna start pulling all this stuff off of it and see what we can make out of it. Um, see where we're at. Right, so the nut down in here is actually a 24 millimeter. So we'll get that down there on it. Let's start taking this thing off. All right, so we got that broke loose and uh, something's kind of neat. You see this kind of basket weaving almost looks like in this that's actually a collapsible column so a, a lot of uh a lot of cars had that back in the day where the column would actually collapse so if you hit it then the metal would actually collapse down um and wouldn't be as as rigid but they had some like chryslers and stuff that were like that almost all the way down the column and it would have it like a crush point this is if you smacked your head on this thing it would actually just crimp down so just taking the rest of this off of here and i was looking on the back of this horn button you can see that it's supposed to spring and then touch these two pieces here together um but i don't see how it actually held itself on i don't see any kind of clip that's broken or anything so that's kind of strange there's gonna be something that's missing though i'm sure tape isn't normally required so get this nut off so there it is. And got uh, a washer down in there. And see if we can get this thing up out of there. All right, so the steering wheel actually just came right up off the splines. Um, just just a tiny bit of pulling and it slid right up. So it looks like this is the, the horn mechanism where this is supposed to be kind of bent up and touching the bottom of the steering wheel. And uh, so we can try to jump that, see if the horn actually works. And then you've got your cam lock that would turn your turn signals off. And it is actually made into the back side of the steering wheel right there, that little thing hanging off. Okay, so here's what I figured out about our little cam there. So if you read the directions, it helps sometimes. It actually shows the little piece right there, which is that thing. And what it tells you is that if you can get this off and affix it to the back of this thing, then you're good to go. But obviously there's no way to do that. I mean, I guess I probably could take it off and maybe drill out these holes and, and use the screws and kind of screw in there. Um, but if you read on, it tells you that there's a couple roll pins in there and you would normally put them here and here put both of them in and, and you bring them down just far enough to make them work so then when you slide this on in the normal position top would be obviously top and it would go here and then both of those would actually line up right next to the little cam piece and then when you turn back and forth it would actually click it off um, because i'm using this custom wheel and not a standard grant wheel which it has the pattern a little bit crooked mine has to be straight up and down like that um so the left side works fine i was just messing with it and it would actually click off fine the right side you have to go a little past off center to make it automatically click which is still okay i mean it's better than 
having to remember every time, you know. So, anyways. So, this goes down. Again, you want to make sure your wheel and everything is straight really before you get this started because if it's off just slightly, you're going to notice it when you get the wheel on. So, you want to get try to get it as, as close as you can get it. Um, and then we're going to start putting it all together. So, you've got your horn mechanism here. Um, the book also, or that book, and the instructions also say that you will have to probably bend that little horn metal piece up to the to the actual hub here. So to make sure that's gonna hit. And now, <laughs> he's got a little air horn out there, so it works. Here's another thing I did today, earlier, just a little sneak peek while we're working. So some random stickers that I had, but some pretty cool. Got the old bug bus there, V-Dub, YouTube, Marilyn Monroe, pretty sweet. All right, so the next thing, we're gonna take our little cover plate here, slide that through. This will line up with the holes there. And then we're gonna grab the steering wheel and we're gonna drop it into place also. So, we've got uh, a hole there. We'll pull our wire through and then drop this down like that. Make sure everything's pretty much lined up. We can run our washer and our nut down uh, and then we'll, we'll check everything. All right, guys, so I just fired it up. I went straight back, straight forward, went back and forth a little bit. Put a couple bolts in just to keep me centered on the plate, um, just to keep everything lined up. Uh, otherwise, it'll kind of spin if it's not all really tightened down. One thing I did notice, because this is only a three inch dish on this steering wheel, is that my wiper switch and the turn signal switch were, were almost touching. They weren't touching, but they were almost touching. So these are aluminum, or magnesium and they're, they're older ones. But if you brace it right here, you can actually bend them back to make sure you can get your hands here. You don't want to get your hands caught up on here or if it's against the dash or something like that, you don't want to have that happen. So this is fine now, because I can move my hands all the way around and I can reach out, turn on the blinkers if I need to. And now, go left, off. So on the right side, it doesn't really matter how far you go right, but you've got to go left a little bit in order to get it, get it back straight, which, you know, is what it is. But hey, it's working, it's hooked up, and uh, now it's gotta finish bolting it down. But like I said, depending on how big the dish is, you may end up having to, to bend those a little bit, and you don't wanna break them, because they definitely are old, but they, they're still working. So that'll be good. So now the next thing to do is take your horn ring, and it'll go, it's gotta fit somewhere through the wire there, and then those will drop down. Now, right now, this is metal resting on metal. So if I hook that wire up, it's just gonna be blasting the horns. The only thing that holds this up off of the, the metal here is the actual horn ring or the horn button itself. And what it does is you put the horn button on and it'll slide into here and then slide over. So you just drop it in and move it to the side and it kind of clicks itself into, into place and then you twist it to bring it back off. Um, but the spring right here actually goes on the nut and actually that's what holds back on the button, which also holds back on this. So when you press it in, that's the spring that you're doing and it, it rests against that. So um, I'm probably gonna go steal one from my dad, <laughs> but uh, we'll end up getting another one, so. All right, so this is in place. I got the three bolts kind of snug and you see this just kind of completely freely moves here, but what it will happen is when the horn button gets on, it's gonna hold that up and then actually allow it to push down wherever it needs to, but the spring will go there to hold it back. All right, guys, the steering wheel is pretty much done. Um, it's at least functional. Everything's tight and good. Um, now the last thing is the horn button. Uh, I was actually end up finding an old horn button and uh, it was a little rusty. I tried to clean it up, it didn't clean up very well. So I sanded it a little bit and sprayed it uh, satin black. So I'm just waiting for it to finish up and then uh, we'll get her on there. That already looks pretty good.
right, guys. Don't forget, you can get $25 off of ceramic coating, the Armor Shield 9 from Avaline King, uh, by putting High Revs 25 in at checkout at avalineking.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share on this video for your chance to win the AMR500 Supercharger.